When you put your child on the school bus every morning, you expect a certain level of safety. You know that driver is trained and capable to get your child to and from school safely. But we also know that's not always exactly what happens. There have been a few incidences, crashes involving school buses right here in the Brazos Valley area. And that's not to say it's the fault of the driver or of the school bus or of the training, but it does put a focus on that training that happens and how very, very important it is. That's why I'm joined by Hector Silva. He's a training instructor here at Teeks and also is the director of transportation for College Station ISD. So you're out here running the programs that teach our school bus drivers how to drive school buses? Actually, technically what we do here at Teeks is we train the trainer. So the people that are actually training the bus drivers out there throughout Texas and in many other states, by the way, uh, we teach them how to teach that, what to know and what to do if something happens throughout the routes. And this is a big question, but what are some of those main things that you're training them to teach? What are the important things to remember when driving a school bus? Well, there's three main basic things. Of course, buses go forward. And so a lot of the accidents that happen on school buses don't usually involve going forward. It's actually going backwards and turning. So we focus our training, our, our first class, on that very specific thing. What's something that we may not know in terms of the training for, for school bus drivers? That's actually a very good question. School bus drivers in Texas are probably the most trained uh, drivers in Texas and maybe even the nations. So initially when a, a person becomes a school bus driver, they go through whatever training their uh, school provides to pass the commercial driver's license. Then the state, Department of Public Safety, also requires a 20 hour course that the person has to go through. After that, every three years, they have to go through a refresher course, a recertification of those same 20-hour course. So we know that these are well-trained drivers, but we're not going to just let Hector tell us about it. He's actually going to show us some of these maneuvers that we're, we're training trainers to teach our drivers. All right, Hector, let's get on the bus. So seatbelt orange and bright so that everybody sees that the school bus driver is buckled up. This is a tank. Part of the safety of being in a school bus is you're in a cocoon. Even so, Silva says there are threats. Number one, when other drivers on the road are distracted. This bus is 10 foot tall, 40 feet long. It's yellow for a reason. People are distracted more than ever. I mean, we all know that. First, he showed us what would happen if there was a mechanical issue and the bus lost power steering at 35 miles per hour. It's not very likely. But in the event that it does, and it has happened, where you lose just a, a belt in the engine compartment, so we're gonna put the bus in neutral and turn the bus off, and that'll simulate no power steering. So here we are, we're turning the bus off. Uh -huh. First of all, we got a little bit of, oh, but there's the barrier, now oh. we gotta go here. We gotta turn the oh. other way, okay? Watch out guys, everybody hang on. <laughs> all right, we're bringing the bus to a stop. Everybody okay back there? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We got a mechanical issue going on. I'm surprised at how uh, much this bus can swerve, how tightly it can turn without just falling over. Yes. Again, buses are built for safety. Next, something less scary, a right-hand turn. Still a lot to consider when you're driving a big yellow bus. Lots of mirrors. That helps us look at whatever's going on out there. We still have blind spots. Oh, guess what? It's pretty close, but I can see my rear duel is gonna clear that problem object over there. Yeah. So my turning point is somewhere about the third or fourth window. Last, he showed us how buses back up. It's more complicated than I expected. Let's just imagine that I'm in front of a railroad track and I can't go anywhere anymore. So I'm gonna have to go back and stay within my lane. What we use for that is we use a maneuver called uh, swaying or turning back and forth. Um, to the naked eye, to the person that doesn't know what we're doing may seem like we're some drunk bus drivers out there doing this. It's not, it's on purpose. So Why, what, why not just back straight up? Because you have a lot of blind spots when you're backing up. So this way, if you turn it a little bit, stay in your lane, and then turn it again. Now, my vision is being 
uh, redirect it so that I can see all the way back as far as I need to see. Okay, so we've done these demos, Hector. You can follow me on out. Hector Silva uh, uh, is a training instructor here at Teeks for school bus drivers. So he trains the folks that go out all over the world and train school bus drivers how to deal with dangerous situations and everyday situations. How'd it feel to give me a demo? And we love to do it. Yeah. We love to do that and we love to be safe. And that's exactly what they are. Hector, thanks so much. Thank you.